Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports. How are we doing tonight? So welcome to the first edition of the 2019 Fins Up segment for Raider Sports. I, I know I tried to do this last year, but I actually kind of forgot about it and just then just it just kind of died. So this year I'm really going to make an effort to be able to come here and deliver, you know, Dalton, Miami Dolphins commentary. And I'm not usually a training camp type of type of dude, but this year with everybody saying about how the team is supposed to be so bad, I wanted to see how spectacularly we were going to suck. So I have been overly involved in training camp more than I would like to. And from what I'm and from what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing, it is quite as it as we were feared i thought this was just kind of a bunch of people you know bragging on the dolphins bringing them down saying okay maybe they'd be maybe they'd suck but maybe we'd be pleasantly surprised and we we may not suck as bad as everybody else thought well we learned very very quickly that the reports sadly were accurate as we know, as we know, the offensive line coach, uh, Pat Flaherty, five months into the job for training camp sessions, was fired after the offensive line was continually dominated by the defensive line. So either our defensive line is great, which could be something to look forward to, or our f offensive line is terrible which obviously seems to be the case if they fired, fired Pat, Pat Flaherty. So this goes into the quarterback situation, you know, if you have a shit, you know, offensive line, you know, I'd rather, you know, save the kid and put in the uh, veteran myself, which getting back to that, the quarterback battle that did seem... Like it was a runaway for uh, Fitzpatrick. Rosen seems to have tightened that up once again a little bit after he put in like two really stellar back-to-back -back practices. So it really does look like this is this would have lasted into the scrimmage at least. And but unfortunately, as with what seems to be with the Dolphins, then I'm just going to accept that this is going to be the season. Is that the scrimmage was, is going to be cancelled due to weather threats. Now, everybody was saying how the Dolphins are supposed to be so bad. But there is so much room at the bottom. And thank God we may not actually get that number one pick. Because, you know, the, you have the Giants who now have no, no wide receivers. You have uh, the Cincinnati Bengals who have no offense. And when without A.J. Green there, we've seen it for years and years. Every time A.J. Green goes out, Cincinnati blows. And I think that's what's going to happen. So there's plenty of room at the bottom if anybody else really wants to, you know, come down to the fishbowl. And we play both of those teams. So you're saying there's a chance we can at least get two wins. Three, four, I'd, I'd say five's about the roof is where I'm comfortable right now. And five wins typically doesn't get you, you know, a top three, top four pick. And the last thing I wanted to mention on here is uh, the most in is the most interesting one. That's why it's at the bottom of my list is the running back battle. I really, really thought Kenyon Drake, who is who is one of the most underutilized running backs in the league over the last few years. Last year, he only had uh, 525 yards on 120 carries and played every game. So that's like less than eight carries a game. And now it seems like Kalon Ballage has started taking more and more of those first team snaps. So it seems like Ballage is going to unseat Kenyon Drake, unless Kenyon Drake really just 
explodes out of the game. But really, really, where where I feel Kenyon Drake really comes in would be for third downs, for screen passes that with the bad offense, with the bad offensive line would help Rosen or Fitzpatrick in keeping upright, allow him to dump the ball down, check downs, screen passes. That's where I think Kenyon Drake would is really going to be the difference maker in the offense, especially if the offensive line is as bad as advertised. Okay, well, guys, thank you for watching, and hopefully we can get, like, a five-win season, but that's the best we're praying for. Anything better than that is a miracle from where I'm sitting right now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Ken Raider, and I'm signing out. Fins up.